MJF, MJF goes to meet with the inner circle. He has a gift for Chris Jericho to congratulate him on his big win. In fact, he has gifts for everyone. It's personalized satin jackets for the entire team. Hager, big man, here's yours. Ortiz, you're going to look great in this one. And he's passing all these jackets out. And the inner circle guys are accepting the jackets. But you can tell they're also like not at all impressed or uh, enjoying these. And they just want this douchebag to leave. And he goes through Hager. I'm sure Proud and Powerful are really into these satin jackets. <laughs> Hager and Ortiz and Santana and Jericho. How fast can we get these on offer up? <laughs> but then MTF looks in the box and says, there's not one there for Sammy. So he puts the heat on Wardlow. Was there another jacket you're supposed to put in this box, Wardlow? Wardlow insists he packaged all the jackets and what was missing. MJF swears on his mother, Sammy, this was not intentional. Sammy says, whatever, Max, what are you doing in here? What the hell are you doing in here? And Jericho cuts him off. Whoa, 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 Sammy. And then Jericho turns to Max. Whatever, Max, what are you doing here? What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> I laughed at that. So Max and Jericho go back to what they did Almost a year ago, we're, we're, we're you know, coming up. In the By the way, you know what's so great about this is is you know they've they've had two segments now where they kiss each other's ass. Yes, and you know then the the first one they call each other idiots and then whatever whatever they call each loser. other loser, loser, and then the second one which was the best of all where they explained that they were calling the limo driver and Shivani a loser and everything like that. But anyway, neither of these guys in storyline is an idiot. No, they're both. They both know that they hate each other. Right. But they're playing this game. Yes. And each is so, aware the other guy hates him. Yep. So so MGF walks in and he's pretending to be all nice, but you know he's a douchebag because he didn't get a jacket for Sammy. Not to mention he got everyone's satin jackets. And then, you know, Jericho is is he's playing nice, but he also knows he hates this guy. So he does ask, What the fuck are you doing in here? Why are you here? So there is still that tension there, yes. even though they continue to kiss each other's ass. Yes. And then, because this show rewards you for paying attention to having a memory, they go back to, it's been at least nine months, when, when shortly after MGF turned on Cody, there was a segment where Max and Jericho were in the ring, and Jericho was asking, do you want to be in the inner circle? And Max was saying, do you want me in the inner circle? And there's a, a bit of a, almost a, a, almost like a, a <laughs> I'll go ahead and say a romantic tension where they actually want to be together, but they both want the other guy to be the one to say it first. And here we are nine months later, it's still going there. And Jericho asks, do you want to be in this inner circle? And Mask asks, do you want me in the inner circle? They still want the other guy to make the first move. And finally, it goes nowhere. So MGF congratulates Jericho on 30 years. He leaves. After he's gone, Sammy Guevara is the one to say, what a loser. But Jericho cuts him off and says, wait, perhaps he's not. <laughs> Jericho has right. some idea of what MJF is up to. <laughs> well, okay. I'm totally overanalyzing this here, but I don't care. <laughs> Ex okay. Excellent. All right. So MJF mentioned a few weeks ago that he was looking for a group to join. Okay. He did, yes. So, it seems to me that MJF is going to end up a part of the inner circle. And I think it's going to be, obviously, a long-term storyline. And I think that, in the end, obviously, they have to have a split. And MJF is such a fantastic heel... I presume that he would be a great babyface, and I'm sure someday he will be a great babyface. But to me, it makes much more sense if MJF joins the inner circle and then ultimately they all turn on Chris Jericho. And Jericho gets booted from the group that he formed, and Chris Jericho ends up being a babyface. Because Jericho always has to do something different. Mm -hmm. Jericho is not going to be the heel leader of the inner circle forever. No. He's going to need another character. And he's not like old, but he is eh. he is older. He's 50. He's, he's pretty well, old. I mean, he's not like 70 or something like that. But I mean, at 50 years old, you know, there's the there's the character of the old badass. The old babyface grizzled badass. 
I feel like that's going to be Jericho's next big character. Okay, that works. So anyway, if we presume, and I'm making a lot of presumptions here by going fully in that direction, that MJF joins the inner circle, they do whatever they do for a while, maybe even when they, whatever, and then finally at the end, there's a big coup and Jericho is ousted, probably with Sammy because Sammy's going to be a babyface too at some point, and MJF takes over as the head of the inner circle and Jericho goes babyface. So if we presume that that's the long term. Then, even looking back at this, Jericho doesn't like MJF, okay? But he is open to having him in the inner circle. Because clearly this character believes that even though I don't like this guy, this is a very, very talented guy. So I am willing to have him in the group if, like, he kisses my ass enough and says he wants to be in the group, right? Yes. But I don't feel that the MJF character has any respect for Chris Jericho. I see him as only wanting in so he can take over. Yes. So, at the end of the day, I think it's all going to make sense. I don't know if it's going to go exactly like this. I don't know if it's going to go like this at all. But the way that they are planting these seeds, I can totally see it playing out like this. And I think it would be fantastic. Yeah, there's uh, I mean, we could t probably talk for an hour about different ways, ways they could do this in fantasy book at all. But you, your 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 theory would work. It would be Chris Jericho as Megatron and MJF as Starscream, which I would heartily endorse. But the, the, more to the point, I know I mean, we're, we're kind of joking. Uh, Jericho is 50, and he's still great for a 50 year old. And he's one of the best guys on the show. And I'm not saying he needs to be. I'm not saying he's got 12 months left or two years or even five years, but he's on limited time. He won't be around for 10 years, and there's. X number well, who of knows? guys. He well, probably if, won't. If anyone's but, going to, it's going to be I mean, be dude. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. Uh, if if anybody could be around for 10 more years, I mean, he is honestly like a Ric Flair. Like yeah, he's out there point. and he, he never gets hurt. Yeah. There There's never any sort of injury. There's never anything that puts him on the shelf. I mean, he just keeps going. He's still cranking out that lion's salt with no problem. It's not like like when we watch those Nikolai Volkov matches, and Nikolai's like younger than we <laughs> no, are. No, no, it's but not like his, Nikolai Volkov his, match. No, but this is my point. Nikolai is forty four, but he looks like he's sixty. Yes, okay, so like yes. he could go out there and play the old babyface badass because he fucking looks old. Jericho doesn't work like a dude who's fifty years old. No, so there's no rush for him to play that old unless he feels like I'm gonna do three more years and I'm out of here. If you're gonna do three more years and get out of here, then now's the time to play that character. That's also true. But, but I, the point I was going to make is if you've got X number of years left, there's a certain list of guys who they've got to get in the ring with Jericho and ideally get wins over Jericho before it's all said and done. And right now, it's like Omega and MJF and maybe the last, like, Jungle Boy or something. But MJF is definitely on that list is the point I'm trying to make. 